Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. As you can see, we're joined once again by Rob Driscoll, the bowtie balloon guy. And this time he is wearing a monster bowtie. Monsters, yeah. yeah. Being in a monstrous mood. Oh, excellent. Okay. Well, Rob, welcome Good. once again. Thank yeah. you for coming in. Um, now, the last couple of times you've been in, first of all, you showed us your, your project. How's that yep. going? Is it going Good. well? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Excellent. Yeah, I'm working through it. So. Excellent. And yeah. then you showed us the flower weave. Flower weave, yes. So what are you going to show us today? Well, because uh, well, I've been in a monster mood, one of the scariest things ever, we've got a princess. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is the princess. Now, this is linked to the flower weave we did because yeah. her dress is that flower weave. So you've created a person yep. and you've used the flower weave. Yes. So the last two shows combined. Combined, exactly, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a different type of person. Hey? Yeah. It's a bit more of a, of a, of a, of what I use for, for, for uh, uh, the female type yeah. look. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I quite like that dress. Yeah, the it's flower lovely. Because yeah. that flower is a great thing. You don't have to use it for a flower. You know, it could be a multitude of things. Yeah. Really. So, so I wanted to use this to share the, a different use of it really that's great um so we're going to do that so did you color sorry just to are they just those eyes just colored on yes they look really good i drew those yeah yeah, yeah. um they are a, a mixture of pens one two three four pens so that's really good i'll go i'll go through that and, and from more than a couple of feet away you wouldn't yeah, know absolutely it was, yeah it was i mean close up it, 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 it's it's not too good but let's not do a close I, i'm happy I'm, I'm happy that you know and, and most people look and go, wow that's amazing yeah that's so, no, great okay yeah. so this yeah. There's another piece of work that you could do when you're doing some line work. Yeah, yeah, um, it takes a little bit longer, this one, but, but you know, uh, there is an alternative dress, which I, I'll, I'll show, which is a little bit easier, but I, I do like this dress, you know. It's, okay. Uh, so we'll do that, if that's all right. All right, excellent. Okay, so uh, these are your balloons, which we're going to need here. So we need a, uh, a uh, 360, 350, 60 for the, for the head that, uh, again, you know, I'm, I'm Should we point out to everybody? I'm actually, go on, sorry, go 350, on. that's Qualitex. Yes. 360, that's, that's Sempertex. Sempertex. Yes. You use a mixture. I use of a mixture, yeah. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. I've got a feeling that's uh, Qualitex. I've got a feeling she's actually, her head is actually a Sempertex. So All right, okay. I've got a mixture in my box, depending yeah. on what, what I use, yeah. really. Um, so I'm going to use a three, 350 for the head. And as I'm a, a frugal person, I'll get three or four heads out of that one balloon. Very good. Which is cool. Uh, I've got uh, an orange 260, which is going to be just for that bit of body there. Okay. It's only a small bit, so again, you can get a couple of bits get out of there. more bodies out of that, yeah. yeah. The 160 blush will be for her uh, arms and legs. Yeah. And then we've got uh, the uh, 160 orange. You can usually get away with one for the dress. Uh, so we're going to use that for that. And then the yellow one for the hair. Okay. So we've got those. Cool. Anyway. So we're going to start with, uh, we'll make the dress first. Okay. Now, last time I did the flower weave, it was a six petal flower. It was. The thing with these flowers, you can do it with different amount of petals. Okay. So this one's a five petal flower. Oh, right, flower. okay. So, um, so there's no rules. You don't have to no, have a minimum no, of six I'm, or even numbers or anything exactly, like that. Exactly, yeah, yeah. You can do more. I've never done it with a, more than six. Yeah. I must have a go one day, uh, but I've done it with, four, with five and that's what I use for the dress. Okay. It, as long as... It, 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 it's a little bit bigger if you do it with six flower, six petals. Yeah. I, I like the size. It's a little bit smaller if it's a five petals. So yeah. it's, okay. it's a little bit neater there. Um, so we're going to make that flower again. And uh, I'll blow up the balloon most of the way. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make five petals. And the petals are going to be about four fingers. Okay. Uh, a bit bigger than four fingers, I'd say, yeah. about, about there. And you want five petals here. You said last time okay. you always try and measure from the same petal. Same petal, yeah, yeah. So there's my original petal. Yeah. If you start measuring from the, the last one you did, you end up with tiny blisters. And yeah, you end up yeah. With, so even if they just get a millimetre smaller yeah, each time. Exactly, yeah. As I say, it's uh, just about get the more out of the one balloon. Yeah. Like that, make sure it's dried off. If you haven't got enough balloon, then use another one as well. Yeah. It's not a problem, you know. Same as last time, we're going to make this, uh, make these into a face address. The same way, yeah. So they're all pointing the same way around that way. 
swoop through. Now it's a little bit trickier being so small, mm. but a bit of practice should be all right. I find that when I'm out working, I have to, I have to do it against yeah, my body right, yeah. to, um, because I haven't got a table. But it's easier with a table. Yeah, I find it is. Ooh. Now, because I only use the six, uh, the five petals, yeah. I've now got looking for this five yeah. points here. Make sure it's all four to the side. So there you go. So it's so nice. cute. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, it looks nice. Makes a nice little um, just to say. Yeah. Hey, you could wear that as a flower in your hair. Yeah. Well, maybe not you, maybe not me, but right. somebody could. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> I suppose you could just put 160Q all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Even or, if you don't on, have short hair. On, on a headband yeah. or something. Or, yeah. Or Love it. Put a little, little, little middle in it. Yep. So there, there we have the... Uh, the, the dress basically uh, I'm going to add the legs in now just to get them done and out the way so I'm going to just measure where I think the mm. legs are going to be there so I'm just going to put the end in there kind of measure where they might be I'm going to say about there yep make the other leg the same tie them together tie them in a knot Friction burst. Friction burst. It's a good name. That is a good name. <laughs> and all I'm doing is I'm pushing the end of the uh, the knot through. So simple. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do the bit of the body. Orange. Again. Now on the top here, I've got a very small two six uh, pinch twist. Yes. So I'm just going to make a very small pinch twist here. That's basically going to act as the front of her dress. Okay. And then we're going to do her body. Now, I think I mentioned when I made the people last time, like I like small bodies, bodies yeah. especially on the, 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 these uh, uh, little princesses. Yeah. They look much better. If they end up with a long body, then it's, it's just looks old. You know? uh, so I go for a little short body like that. You can actually, I'm going to get rid of the balloon there and tie that into a knot. Okay. So that is going to go there. It looks tiny. It's tiny. It's tiny, yeah. But then you've got three more bodies there. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to join that in here. I can wrap it around the legs a few times there. Okay. And then a bit I'm, easier. Yeah. I'm going to tuck it back through just to make sure it won't come undone. So you don't even tie a knot. No. No. It's just it's wrapped around a few times. Yep. And there we have our body okay cool. now then uh, now I'm gonna add the head on and uh, as you can say see it's a you need a small bit of mm -hmm. the head there tie a knot off I estimate how big I want the head to be bit bigger heads look look nice on small things so that's a it's a cartoony thing isn't it yeah. you end up with these like Betty Boo's got a massive head yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, so I'm gonna go for about there I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the balloon there. And uh, join that on. Now our head will be a bit wonky at this point, but don't worry, it will be will be straightened out. So she's got it's a wonky way. just because the pinch twist is pushing Exactly, yeah, yep. yeah. But we, we are going to have a, another pinch twist on there eventually. Okay. So that's fine. That's going to come with the hair, which we're going to do now. So you want your... Your hair cut, uh, balloon, uh, I've blown up to most of those, there's about four fingers left uninflated yeah. there, so. There are lots of different variations of hair. This is the, the simple one I, that I use. I love that your unit of measurement is fingers. Fingers, yeah, yeah, always measuring fingers. Yeah. Not inches, so, not centimeters. No, no, no. <coughs> fingers is good. So um, I've got the top knot here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I, I've done a pinch twist in the end there, or did do a pinch twist. That pinch twist is going to join to the knot on the top of the hair. Okay. 
like that. All right. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to uh, run the hair down to the back. And oh. uh, it's a bit like the, the, the people I did last time. I don't want to go straight down. Yeah. I want to go around the yeah. head. So I'll make it a little bit longer. Yeah. Uh, if, if you if you have it too short, then it pulls the head back. I see. It's looking up. Okay. So you want the head to be down forward a bit. And done. Knock her out with the balloon again. So as you can see, I've gone around rather than yeah. straight down. Now we're going to go around the side. Same again. I go around rather than straight down. Mm -hmm. Now at this point, I'm going to put in a bit of a fringe. Okay. You can do this fringe at any time. You, you, I, you could have done it right at the beginning if you wanted. Yeah. Or you can do it at the next step. But when I remember, I'll put a fringe in. And all I'm doing is I'm just doing a little, so is a that little what you loop. Did? You forgot. I forgot, yeah, to do it at the beginning. <laughs> uh, but I often do, you know, think, oh yeah, do the fringe now. Yeah. So that's what you were saying earlier on yeah. about you just kind of wing it with you in front yep. of people and you're going to yep. do it and just pretend it. things are meant to happen. Whichever way around it's, it's, it's going to work, you know. Yeah. So I've got the back here, yeah. got the side, I've now done the little fringe there, which is just a little loop. Yeah. And now I'm going to replicate the other side of the head. So it's the same, like that. So we've got perfect. Uh, yeah, we've got a few gaps at the back there, but we're going to fill those up. Yeah. Just while I'm here now, I'm going to put a pinch twist at the bottom here, and this is to be the opposite pinch twist to the okay the orange at the front. Yeah. That just holds the, the head secure, and it'll hold the arms uh, when we put those on. So that's now like that. And now all we need to do is to fill these gaps here. So we're going to run that up. It's no good, is it? Well, I'm sure you've got a solution. Yeah, we, we've got a, enough balloon here. We can, we can make it work. Look at that. It's magic. Let's pretend that didn't happen, shall we? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> So I'll just draw that in back to where we were. So I'm going to run that up to there. And that's the great thing about these balloons is it pops. That's right. Just carry on with a bit yeah. more. And then so I filled in that gap there. Come back down to the, the bottom. Twist it in. And then you're going to get rid of whatever's left. Which will be... So it would have been so tempting to just go and get another balloon. Yeah, I know, but it's all the way over there, isn't it? Yeah, so it's all, all the way over there, six feet away. But you've saved yourself. i saved myself. Look after the pennies, five, right? Five the, 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 the pounds look after themselves. Exactly, exactly. So. so there we have our, our head there. She's still a bit wonky, but yeah. we're going to sort that out with the arms. So that's uh, a very simple cool. uh, head there. Now with the arms, I've got the remainder of what I had for my legs. Yeah. Well, not my legs, but her legs. Uh, and I'm going to blow that up. You might find it easier to use a small 160 pump yeah, to blow yeah. that up. Yeah, not many people have those. No. Just uh, get yourself a little 160 pump. So I've got my, my uh, arm balloon there. I'm going to add this onto the side of the neck there. Mm -hmm. So you've got the two pinch twists. There, I'm just going to twist that in here like that. Yep, so that's now coming out the side of her neck. Yep, I'm going to try and work out rough, roughly where her arm will be. So I'm going to say about there, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to measure it against so I'll get the same, yeah, yeah, see what I mean. the same uh, length. So those little pinch twists that you put in, they, they are basically attachment points yeah, for all the other balloons. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they serve a, a few different thing, uh, functions, so they, they hold it all straight and then they're easy to attach things to, you know. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm just going to give these arms a little bit of a, a bend here. Yeah. That looks enough. I, you can always give a bit of a shock twist here. Yeah. Just to give them a bit more of an elbow. And there we have 
are um, are, are dull. Brilliant. Well, that. And you just draw a face on it. Yep. Do, do you want to see the face drawn over go there? On, draw I'll have to go and get my pens all over there. Six okay. feet away, miles. All right. There. Go get the pens. And get any pens. So, so I've got a, a black, uh, a pink pen, a uh, blue one for the eyes, and a white one. This is an Edding 750 I use. Yep. Uh, and uh, I now draw on here. What I do is I, I'll draw two dots, and that is going to be uh, just above halfway up okay. the head. Uh, that's going to be the, the inner points of the eyes. Uh, I then come up in a, an archway like that. And what this is going to look like is an almond. So it's kind of like the shape of an almond, do you see that? Mm-hmm. Ish. So like that. There we okay. go. All right. We're going to need that pen again in a minute. Now, while I'm waiting for that to dry, because the 750 tends to take a while to dry, so I'll do something else while I'm waiting for that to dry. I do a little bit of a splodge, technical word, for lips Indeed. there. I've heard that used before. Splodge, yeah. And then I'll do a... Um, a little mouth, a little smile. Let's give a bit more pink there. You can use a darker pink if you want, or red. Yeah. Um, I, I like to do cheeks, but what I do is I'll draw the, the pink on and I'll dab it with my finger and it just mists it a bit. I see, yeah. Blends it in. Yeah. And it's a weird thing, but people notice that. When you do that, people go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, people do notice that. It's, it's a nice little little effect. A little bit of makeup there. Um, for a nose, I just do a, a little yeah. dot like that. I've seen people who do two dots. And I, 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 it looks like a, a pig's nose. Okay. I, I don't like <laughs> it. So uh, just a, little, a nice little nose. Now, this should be dry now, so I'll draw a line over the top. Fairly thick line over the top. Yeah. A smaller line underneath, like that. And now you need your, your eye colour. Pull that in. Like so. Black in the middle. And then this is the bit which I think brings her to life. You need your she white looks a bit angry again. at the moment. She does look a bit angry, but... but uh, all I do is I do a little dot there and a little dot there, and that just brings her eyes to life. Yes, yeah, actually that does. That's really clever. It's just a little effect there, and uh, that's uh, how I do the eyes on them. That's really good. I love it. But yeah. Well, Rob, thank you thank once you again much. for that. That's great. I, I was watching Billy Elliot actually oh, yeah. the other day, and it just Perfect. reminds me of uh, a ballerina wearing a tutu sort yeah, of thing. Wonderful. But uh, no, that. that's great. Now, as you know, as a guest. You get to ask the question of the yeah lead. yeah do you have one um uh, well I've been, I've been thinking of one first okay. I've, had, I've had a, a few weeks to think of one um a, a few years ago i did my films a film a week and uh, it keeps popping to my mind maybe I, sh I should do the odd film here and there again yes so is there a film you think would look good made into balloons yeah okay uh, uh, fantastic that's a, i want a film a film I'm not. I'm not yeah. biased in any way, shape, okay. or form. But did you see? I can't remember who did it, but the Millennium Falcon made out of yeah, balloons. Yeah, amazing. That incredible. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Huge. As well. Do one of those. Amazing. Do one of those. Okay. Full size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, something else. Talking of Millennium Falcon, I saw on Facebook the other day somebody's done a bouncy castle that is a foot, a real life size Millennium wow. Falcon. That sounds so amazing. So you go inside, and that's yeah, that's that where you live, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it's fantastic. I, I'd have it at the house. So, <laughs> so anyway. Anyway, there you go. What film would you like to see Rob recreate out of balloons? Thank you, Rob, once again for coming in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next week. Bye. Bye.